Hello and welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Tableau. This series of videos will help you take your skills from beginner to expert level in Tableau. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to show labels inside a bar chart and also create custom header labels in Tableau. Let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today. Here I have a bar chart that shows percentage of sales done in different segments consumer, corporate and home office starting from 2014 till 2017. Here you will observe that the year labels are added inside the bars and these are the custom segment labels where the color of the labels match with the color of the bars so blue for consumer orange for corporate and red for home office so by the end of this session you will be able to create a view similar to this one now let's jump to tableau and get started first we will create a bar chart to show sales for different segments done in different years so drag segment to column shelf then drag sales to the row shelf now from the sales drop down add a quick table calculation percent of total now drag order date in the column shelf next to the segment to show percentage of sales for different segments in different years from the mark type change to bar now to show different segments in different colors we will drag segment to the color under mark section let's turn on the labels by clicking on show mark label button change the format of the percentage sales field to show percentage without any decimal places so right click on sales click on format then go to pane here select numbers go to percentage and remove the decimal places click anywhere outside now the percentage labels are shown without any decimal places we can match the color of these labels with the color of the bar so for consumer segment all the labels will come in blue color similarly for corporate segment all these labels will come in orange color so for that go to label click on font and select match mark color so now you will observe that the labels are shown with the same color as that of the bar now let's change the font style to tableau bold press enter click anywhere outside now hide this field label right click on field label and click on hide field labels for columns now let's remove these tick marks from the axis as we have already turned on the labels so right click on axis click on edit axis go to tick marks and select none let's also update the title of the axis to upper case so this will be percentage of total sales close this edit axis window decrease the size of the axis now the axis looks neat and clean next to add these year labels inside the bars write down in the row shelf int 0 press enter make it a dual axis by clicking on the drop down and click on dual axis remove these segment and major name from color we want to show the year labels inside the bar for that we will drag order date to label so close this format drag order date to label synchronize both the axes by right clicking on this axis and click on synchronize axis let's change the color of these labels 
टू वाइट सो दैट दे आर इजिली विजिबल गो टू लेबल क्लिक ऑन फॉन्ट देन फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल सिलेक्ट वाइट कलर क्लिक एन यूर आउट साइड ईयर लेबल्स आर क्लियरली विजिबल इन साइड दी बार नाउ हाइड दिस एक्सिस राइट क्लिक अनचेक शो हेडर If you want, you can even change the alignment of these ear labels. So go to label, click on alignment. Now from here you can change the appearance of the uh, labels. Let's select up direction. So in this way you can change the alignment according to your preference. So let me keep it normal. now go to sales field and remove major names from color now we can hide this ear header right click on this header and uncheck show header now to add some space after the end of each segment let me show you like here we have some space after the end of each segment and the view also looks neat and clean so go back to sheet 1 go to analysis then go to totals and from here add all subtotals now select any subtotal bar and from the drop down select hide now you will observe that these subtotal bars are hidden and we have some space after the end of each segment Let's change the view to entire view. Now we can hide the grid lines that we are getting here. So right click, click on format, then go to borders. From here select none for row divider. Then select none for column divider. Now go to lines, click on rows, then select none for the grid lines. and also select none for the zero lines now all the grid lines are removed we can format these segment header right click click on format change the font style to tableau bold and from the font size select 10 click anywhere outside so in this way you can add ear labels inside the bars lastly if you want the color of these segment labels to match with the color of these bars like consumer label to be presented in blue color and similarly corporate label to be presented in orange color then go to analytics close this format segment go to analytics from here drag constant line to table the maximum percentage that we are getting here is 14% so make sure to add any value above the max percentage shown in the view so let us add 0.16 that is 16% now hide this segment header right click uncheck show header we don't want to see this constant line and the label so for that right click on the constant line and click on edit from here select none for the label and select none for the tooltip and also select none for the line click on okay click anywhere on the chart now we want the labels at the top of each of the segment so right click on any bar of the consumer segment go to annotate and from here select mark we want to show only the segment field so remove everything except for the segment and we want the consumer segment to come in blue color so go to color go to more color and from here we will click on pick screen color and select the blue color click on okay change the font to tableau bold click on okay now adjust this label at the 
top of the bars we don't want this shading and the line right click click on format select none for shading and select none for the line click anywhere outside we will repeat this step for both the corporate and the home office segment right click on any bar of the corporate segment go to annotate and from here select mark we want to show only the segment field so remove everything now for corporate segment we want to display the label in orange color go to more colors and click on pick screen color select this orange color click on ok change the font style to tableau bold click on ok now adjust this label so that it comes in line with consumer now remove this shading and the line right click click on format select none for the shading and select none for the line now select any bar of the home office segment go to annotate click on mark we want to show only the segment so we will remove everything and we want home office segment to be displayed in red color select color click on more colors let's select pick screen color and select this red color click on okay change the font style to bold and click on okay now similarly we will place it above these bars in line with corporate and consumer now lastly remove the shading right click click on format select none for the shading and select none for the line click anywhere outside so in this way we can add custom labels where the color of the labels match with the color of the bars lastly let's edit the tooltip we don't want to show int 0 field in the tooltip so select all go to tooltip remove this field and let's update this heading to show only percentage of total sales click on okay now the tooltip also looks good here you will observe that we are getting this zero reference line so to remove this line just right click on this line and click on remove now the zero reference line is removed so in this way we can create a view where the labels are shown inside the bars and also add custom labels like these where the color of the labels match with the color of the bars so this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below thanks for watching this video i hope this session was helpful do not forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video see you in the next tutorial